Today I'm going to take a look at the denoise effect, which provides advanced noise removal and can dramatically improve the appearance of your video. To really put this to the test, I'm going to be using some quite old video footage that we shot several years ago. Action. Now this shot doesn't look too bad when you're just looking at a still, Action. but as soon as you hit play, you notice this nasty noise pattern in the background. All that noise movement distracts from the actor in the foreground. So this particular clip is pretty dark. To make it easy to see the noise, I'm going to sling on the exposure effect from the effects library, and then go into controls and boost up the gamma to 1.7. You can really see just how horrid this video is. We're not just talking about a natural, filmic kind of noise. There's also this awful artifacting going on around the actor's shirt. It's actually basically unwatchable in its current state. So this is an extreme example, and the stuff that you shoot, I'm sure, is much better quality. But on occasion, this can happen, or maybe if you're working for a client and they deliver some footage that isn't as good as you'd quite like it to be, that's where the denoise effect comes in. So let's get to work. In the effects panel, search for denoise, and then drag it down onto the video layer. It's important to add denoise above any other effects, because you almost always want it to be working on the original, unaltered source, where it's going to have access to the maximum amount of data before you've played around with it through effects and grading. Effects are processed from the top to the bottom in a layer's effects group, so make sure denoise is at the top of that list. Denoise's interface is quite different to other effects in HitFilm. Immediately you can see that the viewer has become darker, with a little highlight box in the middle. This is the analysis box, which is what you use to show HitFilm the unwanted noise. You want to find a flat coloured area of medium brightness. You can drag the corner handles to reposition this analysis box. So I'm going to go for this brown area over on the wall here. Once you've positioned the box, hit the Analyze button in the Controls panel. HitFilm then takes the area that you specified and looks at it closely to figure out what's going on. And if you now toggle the denoise effect on and off, you should already start to see an improvement. In my example, check out the actor's shirt, which goes from a horrible noisy mess to, well, a less horrible noisy mess. We can now provide HitFilm with additional data to improve that noise removal. In the Denoise Effects View menu, select Analysis Box. This will display the analysis box again, and you now want to move it to a darker area where noise is still visible, again aiming to find an area with a flat, even colour. I'll move it to this darker area over here, so although we're using the same highlight box, this is actually going to provide HitFilm with more information on top of what we did earlier. So click Analyze Brightness to apply the new data, which is then compared to the first analysis and used to improve the overall results. The Frames menu shows you how many frames are sampled when denoising. Increasing the number of frames tends to create higher quality results, but can also impact on performance, as additional frames are being used to provide more data. Now it's important to know that denoise isn't magic, and you still want to aim for that good quality footage in the first place, but certainly in the case of this shot, it's transformed what was basically unusable into something with a lot more potential. And sometimes that can be the difference between a project succeeding or failing, particularly if on a really tight timescale. So here's another example from the same shoot. There's again a lot of noise in the shot, particularly visible when you watch it in motion. Again, I'm going to take the denoise effect, apply it, and set the analysis box to a mid-brightness area, such as the paler part of the wall on the right here. After analysing that, I'm going to switch the view to the analysis box, reposition it over this green cabinet, and then click Analyse Brightness. There's been a definite noise reduction, but we've also lost quite a lot of detail in the background. Note the edge of the cabinet and the detail in the blue door, both of which look quite smudgy. This can be tweaked by going into the settings. First we're going to switch to 8 frame samples, which will slow things down but gives denoise more to work with. And then by opening up the threshold group and increasing the keep edges property, we can retain more detail in the video while still trying to remove the noise. If I toggle the effect on and off, you can see the difference we're making. So third-party denoise plugins for other video software tend to cost upwards of $100 just for the plugin. So having a powerful denoiser built right into HitFilm 3 Pro is a really great feature. My name is Simon Jones from HitFilm.com. As always, many thanks for watching this tutorial and enjoy your new clean sparkly footage.